Hello, today we will make a practical BLE example with uh, Safia. So we will implement a service. We start with a battery service because it's quite easy. It's already implemented into Safia. We just have to activate the most part. Uh, it's a nice uh, starting point. Uh, of course, you need the basics for this. Yes, yeah, so the theoretical basics. So I recommend you watch first uh, um, first video of this series if you didn't do it, so I will put the link here so that you can follow it. And um, of course another recommendation is my book, there is all the theoretical part described and it gives you a good overview. Um, you can buy it over Amazon, either in English or also a German version is available. So for implementing we will start with a battery service and with a basic example. So in Visual Studio we are creating a new application and using the as a Hello World application. I call it then my BLE BRS example, so battery service and creates this project. Afterwards we have to implement a few header files for Bluetooth and for logging. Um, so I will use logging and not the print K here. So just uh, implement the header files here for Bluetooth. We need in Bluetooth dot uh, H, con dot H. Uh, for the get, um, we need in get dot H. And for the whole UID for the services, we need in this header file and also the battery service header file. Since we want to use the service, it's already implemented into Safia. When we take a look at the directory, you see here a few services, the battery services here and the heart rate uh, services here, but they are not all implemented. So the environment service, sense, sensing service, for example, is not implemented there. And uh, in the next step, of course, we uh, register a logging module, uh, since I want to use logging here, and not only the print, uh, print k <coughs> expression. And afterwards, we, needing so, uh, we uh, have to start the whole BLE functionality. Uh, um, so there I making a function in it BLE. Uh, um, the callbacks we don't do yet. And there we are calling the BT enable function. Uh, this function actually uh, you can run it with null as parameter or a callback function when it's ready. Uh, there are a few examples where there's no parameter because it's going so fast it's nearly directly finished. Uh, but then you don't get all this information if it's uh, really successful. So um, <coughs> um, I'm using here the callback function and I'm implementing it here when it's ready. Uh, Bluetooth is enabled. Uh, when there's an error, then we return the error over the lock was the logging. If not, we just print out. Um, actually, we should also use the log inf that Bluetooth is ready. And uh, this we have then to uh, start in the main. Uh, So I call there the function to start the Bluetooth functionality and when it's done I'm also printing out here um, Bluetooth stack is ready uh, so I will get it two times. If not it's staying here in a while uh, loop. Um, yeah, okay I have to implement this flag of course first. So I'm using a flag here. Uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of a semaphore or mutex. Uh, so as long as it's fall, it's staying thin, stay in the while loop, and when the callback function make it to true, then everything went fine. And we have also to start the whole um, Bluetooth and locking functionality, of course, in the project file. So this I have to open the project file and you're seeing here uh, we activate the logging we activate Bluetooth since this is a peripheral the so name of my um, device and also the icon which appears this is a standard icon you can change it when you're using another service and um, afterwards um, you have to start advertising when the Bluetooth stack is running. Yeah? Uh, so what kind of service you are offering. Um, and for this, we needing a structure which is called Bluetooth data for the advertising. And um, there I'm making at the moment only one type inside. So the first, um, what we are setting in this area, um, this area when you're looking is structures like it has a type, then a length, and then a pointer to something, uh, to the data uh, where you define the length. And um, so, uh, every uh, um, part of this, when you're using this macro, creates such uh, an element from the, error, uh, from the array. And here we are just saying that we are not using the classic um, Bluetooth, that we are using Bluetooth Low Energy, and that's uh, the advertisement and so on, that's all general. And the second element will be um, the U IDs from our service. Yeah, uh, so you can also make more inside. We're just using now the battery service first. And when we're having this part, then we have to also calls this parameter, so there is a function um, to start the advertising. So this means actually when you are connecting, uh, as long as you are not connected to the device, our device will advertise something. <coughs> the function for this is Bluetooth BT, LA advertise start. And <coughs> you're seeing here that there is another parameter. So when you, you can give actually uh, two errors here when the data is too big for um, uh, one area, because I think it's 37 uh, bytes or something, which can be the first advertisement packet, and uh, you can extend it then with another one. So when you create your own custom service, it would be uh, making more sense to split this and up later. Yeah, so that will be a first package after the advertising with the standard parameter, like the name, and when you're uh, using then the SD array here, then you're getting a second package with additional information. But for us, with one service, one array is enough, and this is why this is null at the moment. So, yeah, let's see if it's compiling. And now we're flashing in our device. So you're seeing here already uh, the Bluetooth stack is ready, the callback function uh, is ready, so the in initialization is okay, and then the stack is ready. Now we have uh, different possibilities to test. You can check it with a mobile phone. First I show it to you. Here's my module where I transfer this data. You can check it with a mobile phone, or you can use like a dongle. Here uh, I use this kind and using the application from our NIF Connect 
um, which is then called NIF Connect for desktop Bluetooth. So you can install it if you uh, haven't already Bluetooth Low Energy, install it and then open it. And um, so you see here the devices, so I connect with the dongle. And if there is no firmware flashed on it, it will flash it automatically. Or like I said, you can use your mobile phone also and installing an application there, so NIF Connect application for Bluetooth. Then you start scanning and you're seeing here already my BLE device. And we can look here in the details and there is standing that there is a battery service. And I can even connect to this but we don't have the attribute battery service at the moment because we didn't implement uh, the characteristic. And to implement this characteristic it's uh, with the uh, battery service is quite easy because we just have to activate oops, the Bluetooth BAS Yes, and then uh, if you flash it and build it, ah. then there will be a already a, a battery characteristic there. But uh, <coughs> of course, this is a little bit boring, so I am make a, a variable which is called battery. Uh, level, we set it at the beginning as 100 and in our main function um, where I didn't make a while loop yet uh, there I put a decremation on the battery level. Yeah, so um, I wait two seconds and if the battery level is under 25 then I set it to 100 again. If not, it will be going down always. And since we are having now the battery service uh, activated with the project file, there is a function which is called BT uh, battery service set battery level and there I set the battery level. So I make a new build for safety, I make a pristine build because we changed something in the project file. And when this is done, then we just flash it to our board and then going to our application, start the scan again. Let me clear first does the scan. Here's our module. I connect to this. And now you're seeing that here's the battery service also activated. So we're having the characteristic. And you're seeing here a value which is uh, a hex value yeah, from 58. And uh, you can always refresh it. I see and now it's 53. If you wait two seconds, 51. Um, so 50. And 54F. Uh, so you see, it's the battery service we already uh, implement successfully. So you see how uh, to implement the battery service, it's not so difficult since it's already included in uh, Safia, so we don't have to do so much. Um, it will be a little bit more complicated when we uh, implement a service which is not already uh, implemented in. Uh, Safia. We will do this in the next video with the uh, environment sensing service, which has the three characteristic temperature, humidity, and pressure. So, see you in the next video.